The three phases of wound healing for burns is inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. When patients have larger sized burns, they have a longer period of wound healing. They are also more susceptible to infection and delayed wound healing. In terms of the pathophysiology of burns, excessive heat causes proteins to denature and degrade. This causes tissue necrosis. Nearby regions of the burn may also be affected and may experience hypoxia and ischemia leading to poor and delayed healing. The characteristics for wound healing depend on the person's extent of the burn and depth of the burn. Studies have shown that the extent of the burn predicts the hospital length of stay and mortality, which makes sense as the more serious your burn, the more serious your injuries and the risk of death. So during the early phase of inflammation, so you have vasodilation and edema, which is swelling at the localized burn site. At the cellular level, neutrophils, monocytes, and macrophages are responsible for this stage of inflammation. Think of lab values of when someone gets an infection, their white blood cell count would mobilize and increase accordingly to this. These neutrophils and monocytes localize at the burn site to initiate an immune response to prevent infection because burns expose the skin to the outside environment. An analogy is kind of like sci-fi movies when the crew mobilizes to the intrusion site on the deck on the ship to prevent the intruder from invading the rest of the ship. This prepares the wound healing for the next phase, which is the proliferative phase. The characteristics of the proliferative phase include wound closure and revascularization. Think of proliferative stage in sci-fi movies that is the shield that is raised to protect the ship from the outside environment in space or, you know, in our environment for infection. It's like my cat has invaded my office space too. More specifically, keratinocytes are responsible for the wound closure and fibroblasts are responsible for the revascularization part. Keratinocytes migrate to and actually over the wound to assist in the wound closure. And this restores the vascular network of the body. And this is vital in the wound healing process. Last, you have the final phase, which is remodeling, which includes, which includes wound maturation and scarring. This is kind of like the analogy of reinforcing a weak point in that ship by welding it or making it stronger as it was damaged before by an earlier event. More specifically, the wound scar matures from the collagen and elastin being deposited and then becoming fibroblasts. Don't worry about all of this. This is more for how it works if you're interested, but basically the wound healing terminates at this final stage where the appearance of the wound is really dictated by the maturation and scarring. Overall, at each step of wound healing, we can see that occupational therapy has a role to play because each step is part of the process of the broader picture of overall recovery for the burn patient. And we'll talk about more of the occupational therapy side in other videos.